time. You look back at the late 1980s, early 1990s, one of the more dominating high school baseball programs in the state of Texas was at Brenham High School. Well, the Cubs had a cycle where they rebuilt, and now that tradition appears to be back. Here's high school extras Keith Fletcher with the story. Where in Texas football has Odessa Permian and girls basketball has Duncanville, baseball in this state has the Brenham Cubs. 11 squads have advanced to the state tournament, while 17 players have moved on to play professionally. But the program was epitomized by its run in the late 1980s behind pitching phenom John Peters, who established a national record for consecutive wins, while the Cubs claimed consecutive Class 4A state championships from 1986 to 88. John Peters is now just fond memories here in Brenham and a jersey number no other Cubs player will wear. Brenham has made just one state tournament appearance in the 1990s, but slowly and not so quietly, the magic has returned to the Brazos Valley Dairylands. A lot of people ask me first off, is there going to be a lot of pressure and that kind of thing? And I told them not really, it's the same pressure wherever you go if you expect to win. And uh, all, everyone wants you to win, uh, in the town anyway. So uh, uh, it hadn't been any different than any other place that I've been, other than we have a few more coaches in the stands. Fourth year Brenham coach Long knows well, as do most coaches, that really only one great pitcher can carry a team to the state tournament. But the Cubs have two, junior Brandon Rosnowski and senior Danny Moogie. They've combined for an 11-1 record, while their ERAs added together totals only 1.51. I think we've got the ability to go all the way. I mean, we've, our guys have been playing together, you know, forever, and we pretty much know what to expect out of everybody, and we have a good chance of going. Well, it's good because if I have a bad game, I can know, uh, always can rely on Danny's going to have a good game. He can pick me up. So it's good. And plus in the playoffs, you need more than one pitcher to take you. And we got two good pitchers. And that's what's often referred to as a championship advantage. Complimenting the one-two pitching punch is an offense that has flourished behind the record-setting numbers of catcher Dustin Majeski. He's in the midst of a season that has toppled Brenham's single-season records with 52 RBIs and 10 doubles, while his 10 homers are one shy of the school record. When you know you don't have to score many runs to win, it makes it a lot easier to go up there and hit. And when you got Brandon Ross and Oski and Dave Moody throwing the ball like they are now, I mean, just play defense, get in there and swing the bats, and everybody just feeds off them. If they pitch good, we hit good. This team, we overcame a uh, big ball game early in the year. Uh, we played Sulphur, Louisiana, and had to go 10 innings with them, a big 5A school from Louisiana, and we ended up beating them 8-6. to six. I think that was a turning point for our kids. Uh, and since then, we've been pretty much on a roll, and they found that they can do it. Brennan may be the baseball capital of Texas, but the Cubs haven't made an appearance at the Legislative Chambers at Ditch Falk Field since 1994. This year, the Cubs look like they're headed to Austin with plenty of veto power. And Brenham, Keith Fletcher, High School Extra.